After a very promising year two, many of us thought quarterback Sam Donald's production was going to skyrocket in year three, but it sadly did not. Sam Donald had 2,208 passing yards in the NFL in 2020, which was 28th. He had nine passing touchdowns, which was tied for 32nd, and 11 interceptions, which was tied for ninth most in the NFL. He also had a pro football focus grade of 58.4, so it's safe to say Donald's 2020 was very lackluster. And now he's expected to be traded, and lucky for you, I have some news about that topic. I'm your host, Drew Jets, and you're tuning in to New York Jets News. Let's get it started. Good afternoon, Jets Nation. Hopefully your power is back on if you ever lost it. Hopefully the temperature around you is warming up. I live in Louisiana, and while we never lost power or got snow, the temperature was very, very cold. We even got some icy rain. I believe temperatures got into, it was freezing temperatures. I mean, we had under 32 degree temperature for at least three straight days. Luckily, we never lost power or got snow, but it was still very cold. Today, whenever I went outside, I checked the temperature, it's 50 degrees, and if you've ever been to Louisiana or live in Louisiana, you know <laughs> that's hot weather, so hopefully the weather around you is getting warmer as mine did. But with all that out of the way, let's talk about quarterback Sam Donald. So as you know, as I said earlier, he's expected to be traded after that lackluster 2020 season. Rich Semeny, Jets beat reporter for ESPN, comes out and says that his sources believe the Jets can get more for Sam Darnold than what the Eagles got for Carson Wentz. Now, if you watched the video I made about the Carson Wentz trade, you know that I think Carson Wentz is the safer option in the trade than Sam Darnold. I mean, he's already a proven player in the NFL, and in my opinion, so a good quarterback just had a very bad 2020 season because the talent around him was practice squad members and a wide receiver who was once a quarterback. His offensive line was also crippled. But quarterback Sam Darnold really has never proven that he's a legitimate quarterback in the NFL. Sure, he's had a couple good games and a couple good plays, but once again, he hasn't proven himself to be a legit starter in the NFL. So it's kind of confusing to me why teams would give the Jets more for Sam Darnold than what they would give the Eagles for Carson Wentz. But then once again, you have to think that quarterback Sam Darnold is five years younger than Carson Wentz. He also has a way cheaper contract and has a ton of potential. I mean, if I show a person who doesn't watch football a highlight reel of Sam Darnold, they would think that he's just an amazing player based on all the amazing plays he, you know, just gives out. And maybe NFL teams are hoping that quarterback Sam Darnold can play consistent for them, hoping quarterback Sam Darnold can play, you know, that you know, good play that he's shown in his NFL career week in and week out. So maybe that's why the Jets might get more for Sam Darnold than what the Eagles got for Carson Wentz. But anyway, we might be getting a late first round draft pick like Adam Schefter thinks we could get for quarterback Sam Darnold. And Rich and many sources tell him that the New York Jets are going to be keeping quarterback Sam Darnold. Most likely a different source, but anyway, this makes sense. Quarterback Sam Darnold, like I said, is only 23 years old. He has a very cheap contract, and he has a ton of potential. So it makes sense why the New York Jets would want to keep their former number three overall pick. And really, if you think about it, if we could get a Sam Darnold, an Allen Robinson, Kenny Galladay type of player, maybe his production could skyrocket like Josh Allen did once he got stuff on digs. And it's really not all that crazy, because if you think about it, good quarterbacks in the NFL have talent around them. Normally, if you're a good NFL quarterback, it's because you have good talent around you. But Sam Darnold has never really had that. But now this offseason, with the New York Jets having $68 million and could potentially have up to $90 million with cuts, they could potentially build a team around their quarterback, Sam Darnold. I mean, think about it, guys like Allen Robinson, Kenny Galladay, Chris Godwin and more are expected to hit the open market, so it's not all too crazy to think that Joe Douglas believes that he can make Sam Donald a good quarterback by building a team around him. 
Also, we have Robert Sala as our head coach, who is known for getting the most out of his players. I mean, the San Francisco 49ers had a top 10 defense last season with half of their starters being out. So it's safe to say that Robert Sala and the New York Jets could make Sam Darnold a better player by pushing him to his limits and by building a team around him. So maybe that's what the New York Jets are planning out in their mind if they do, in fact, keep quarterback Sam Darnold. Well, that's all the trade buzz or the Sam Donald buzz I have for you guys. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please hit that subscribe button. It is free. It doesn't cost you literally anything. And you can always unsubscribe later. But after watching some more of my videos, I can guarantee you, you would not want to unsubscribe. Well, thank you for watching. I'm your host, Judith, signing off for now. See you later.